We're rolling! Hi there and welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. My name is Fritz Lüneborg. I am from Denmark, sitting in my workshop and on my left I have my friend Andrew from the States. Hi Fritz. Hello there. Andrew, uh, it's, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on, am I right? Let's see, we have uh, Dan M has a project, uh, he's working on a robot platform for various experiments and Dan's a real experienced uh, guy. He's uh, He started building robots and he does great work, uh, he, he, he has a, a lifetime of uh, supply of, you know, equipment and old parts and uh, electronics and stuff and he just he just starts, he started building this thing and uh, everybody watches it because it's just so cool to watch him you know, grind and weld and, and make this thing and put it together. It's turning into a really great, uh, great robot to watch. It shows the head turning, uh, the wheels, and then it creeps forward. And, uh, and another guy, uh, Kelpie, uh, too, I always imagine him banging away on, uh, on, on his projects. He makes these beautifully, uh, mechanically beautifully things but he tells us you know he doesn't have any advanced tools he doesn't have a, a CNC machine or a router he's you know he's got like he's cutting it by hand with saws and tin snips he's, he's a great uh, talented individual uh, then we have uh, you know people doing uh, robotic arms uh, there's a, a Eureka Genius doing a robotic arm uh, very cool uh, using a basic stamp too we've got uh, User uh, Lumi doing a, a mouse robot. We've got Jax has got his uh, uh, phototropic bristle bot. That's real fun. Oh, this one was cool. I love this. Uh, back when I was a kid, there I remember uh, like a basic. I don't know if it was a Commodore 64 computer program, The Towers of Hanoi, where it's a, a puzzle with three pegs and, and stacks of discs of different sizes, and you got to get the stack from one side to the other. Yeah. And move one disc at a time. And he built a he built a little robotic gripper that. That solves the solves the problem, solves that uh, problem with the, just a, with a pickaxe of weight, which is a tiny, tiny little processor. Yeah, uh, awesome project. Okay, yes. Uh, hey. What else? We've got Grog, the great Grog, doing his oh, robot yes. lab. Oh yes, Grog. I love the uh, I love Grog stuff. Shilly has a uh, low cost gripper that looks really cool. He uh, he uh, he hacked a servo to drive it, and uh, you know just easy, easy stuff. Uh, oh, Anas, A-N-A-S, built a, uh, a, a Daegu robotic arm, which is a, a kit uh, or a complete uh, robotic arm you can order, and he, he uh, integrated it with a Robodino and uh, controls it through a keyboard, so that's a cool robotic arm. Uh, Chench built a uh, HXT900 hexapod with a cool, uh, you know, a cool cut, woodcut frame for the legs. How about CNC machines? Oh, it's the CNC machines. Yeah, so, uh, you know, if you don't know what a CNC machine is, it's a computer. What does CNC stand for? I don't even remember. <laughs> but uh, cut, cut and <laughs> computer. Okay, someone, please write that in in the comments of the video, so we will know what a CNC machine stands for. But yes, what about? Yeah. There's a guy, a very nice and funny guy called Tinhead. He's been doing some awesome uh, CNC machines. Tinhead. Yeah, he started. He started early. He's done a few versions of it now. He just keeps trying to make it better and better. He's actually the he's, famous CNC guy in there, out there. I think he is. Yeah. And, and now he's uh, he's finally after. I mean, not to not to make it uh, seem like it's really hard, but you gotta you gotta uh, really work at getting a good platform. And uh, he's finally now making uh, making his own stuff with it. Uh, you know, he's uh, he was cutting wooden gears and making a tracked robot. Uh, he did the whole gear training. Uh, cut from wood with his CNC machine, which is really cool. And yeah. cool oh, you know, you know who else uh, has a good one is uh, um, the uh, the plastic printer, three D printer. Um, uh, what what's are they? his name? Uh, same guy who did Whirly Gig. Uh, the the, yeah, the Geyer, Geyer Anderson did a a three D. He bought. I don't think he made it right. He he actually invested in a three D printer. Yeah. Uh, for his birthday, I think, huh. and. Uh, but the best thing is, I mean, these things are so cool. You can print, your own, print your own parts. Yeah, those are RepRap is a, a great open source project where uh, you can uh, you can the design is open and you can uh, you can build it and then 
half the parts of the robot of the of the of the, of the machine are built by a rep rep. So if you find somebody who has it, they can make the parts for you. Yes. And uh, and then you can make new ones. Oh, your video is frozen again. Damn. Again. Darn. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it's even frozen for me now. Oh, it is. So, Okay, yeah, well, let's let's ju let's try something funny then. Uh, with the frozen video uh, of you, let's just say thank you uh, for this time and uh, see you next week. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, thank you for this time and see you next week. <laughs>